Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your average Joe. So、uh, today I will introduce how to install the Python, the IDE in your Windows、uh, 10 or Windows 7. I think they are the same thing. So I feel this、uh, video is useful. Then thumb up and、uh, share the video and subscribe. Make sure to subscribe to avoid future、uh, useful information update. Thank you. Okay. Now.、Um, For the Windows now, I'm using the Windows 10, but、uh, for the Windows 7, I think they are the same mechanism. So、um, install the same software. So for the Windows,、um, after comparison with many、uh, many kind of、uh, Python IDE, and、uh, I find that the Win Python is the best solution. This is because the Win Python has.、Uh, Already、uh, combined or already pre-installed the third-party、um, library like NumPy, Matplotlib, such kind of、uh, third-party、uh, lib already、um, com combined. There's no need for you to to、uh, for you to uh, uh, manually install the those kind of、uh, library. So okay, now I will open. I will find, give you find a Win Python. Use Google to search the Win Python.、Um, this is an open source software. Then、uh, already hosted on the GitHub. So we click. So the Win Python、uh, GitHub web page is here. Then you can、uh, click. Project Home is on GitHub. Download the page、uh, on the Source Forge, and GitHub, and some other、um, web web server. Then、uh, you choose the best one or the fast speed, net speed, fastest one、uh, for you to choose. Okay, so choose a Source Forge. Then、uh, we will download. It depends on your own.、Uh, Requirement. Requirement. You can download any version. You can download old version or new version. It's all depend on your,、uh, your own. For example, we download three point five or, or the latest one. You can download the latest one, but I'm already downloaded, not、uh, so new because I just worry about if there's any bug,、um, not yet fixed. So.、Uh, Click this one and download the version you like. Click the download. So I've already downloaded this、uh, installation file, so I will not、uh, download here. Just、uh, saving the time. Okay. Just click that one, then you will be able to download the Win Python. And you need to select the to suitable to your operation. System. If your operation system Windows is sixty-four、uh, uh, digit sixty-four, then you need to download this one. If your operation system is thirty-two、uh, byte bit, then you need to download this one. Okay, thirty-two version to suitable to your Windows operation server. Okay, so let's go back to my desk. And、uh, here, I already download this、uh, Win Python here. The version is 3.5, not very new, but、uh, it's uh, already it's uh,、um, enough to you to be used for the daily work. So, after download, you can double click this、uh, installation file, and、uh, it will、um, unpack the the file. This is the one way you can、uh, install and next, next, next. This is a very easy way, and、uh, there's another even、uh, more simple way to install this.、Uh, I mean, this、uh, Win Python on your、um, in, into your Windows operation system.、Um, I will show you、um, how to do that. There's no need to install. Just extract the installation package into your into your folder. 
then then that's enough so i agree then click i agree then you can click install then very easy just next it is uh, installed to your c drive here documents and you can select the the, the folder you want to uh, be stored in okay i will not install i will cancel because i already installed now i'll cancel yes there's another way you just to, to to do that even good for your um, system because there's no any change to your system you can right click this installation file and use 7-zip but firstly you need to uh, install the 7-zip this file the zip um, software in your uh, windows then you can use the zip file to unzip this uh, to your uh, drive here you can it's very easy it's just extract to this folder and uh, then it will extract to your folder to your for there's no need to install to your um, operation to your operation system uh, this is a green you know it's green no change to your system just click here because I already um, extracted I just hit yes to all then it will extract all the files to this folder so it's very easy right so I will cancel it okay now we already installed this Python and uh, click into this folder then you can uh, create some shortcut to your um, to your desktop you can uh, send to the desktop shortcut this one is the idle IDE and this one is uh, another ID which you can write some code here just a shortcut to the desktop okay so now this ID and this uh, ID spider ID now can be found in your desktop okay let's have a look of this uh, ID now you can see this idol here This is a inter interactive IDE. It is easy for you to just uh, do some practice, like import import this, right? Uh, import OS, yeah, and do some eight plus eight equals sixteen, right? So uh, eight times eight. So this is an interactive IDE. And uh, now I will show you this uh, Python's spider IDE here. This is uh, this IDE is stronger than this uh, shell Python shell interactive um, shell. You can write some robust code in this uh, spider IDE uh, or even some program some games in this uh, spider sh sh spider IDE this is uh, even more professional IDE and it has uh, like uh, the language grammar checks and uh, some more details um, hint or some hint for you some if when you are doing the code coding here so uh, this is uh, after you open this file then you can see this is a uh, temp py then you can write uh, a code like uh, I want to show you how to write <coughs> a simple program to pro to print out or the even number in <coughs> within uh, one within 100 this is a um, you know, small program which is uh, useful for the mathematics math uh, to do some math problem. I think using the Python is a good solution to do the math problem. So the solution is um, print out all the even number um, within uh, 100. 
the program will will do that. Okay, now I will code a variable number i equals one. Then uh, this is a variable um, variable number i equals one, and uh, while i less or equal than 100 you can see it will automatically um, automatically uh, format format the program um, according to Python's language grammar so it will indent like a second line so if I percent two equals zero, which means this is a um, this is a even number. Then uh, we can use print i. So uh, it is a very e very easy program, and uh, if not i plus equal one so let's have a try um, let me see not here and uh, run this file before run need, you need to, to on this uh, python console <coughs> current python console yeah you can choose another <coughs> dedicated python console it's uh, according to your uh, own decision so I will run. Okay, so uh, this is a variable number e i equals one, and while i less or equals one hundred, if i if i percent two equals zero, which means that e, this is an even number, then print i. So uh, then print i and i plus one to make it uh, one by one bigger. So let's uh, okay. So let's run this program. Have a look. You can see on the bottom of this uh, this uh, window, the console. You can see all the even number is printed out: two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So all the pr now even number was printed out. So um, it's easy, right? Um, so we can use Python to do some mathematic to solve mathematic problem okay so um, if you uh, like this video please thumb up and uh, share the video and subscribe this channel to avoid future um, update to avoid missing future update so thank you for your watching so peace bye bye